Hi, I'm Ron with Pacific Permaculture. Today what I'm going to do is transplant a bunch of my beet plants. I grow them from seed and they're way too crowded so the one I pulled out was about as big as my finger and uh, that's way too small. So here's what I got. See they're all in there in this half barrel. But uh, next time I'll grow plants in some cell, like a six cell unit or something like that and then I can transplant them out. So see they're way close. Way, way close. This is one. It looks like the leaves got kind of frazzled out here in the heat too. So being being today is the night, day, late day, night that I water. I'm going to transplant them so I save a step, I figure, right? So that's the thing. I don't know if you guys could see my shirt. It's from Perma Pastures Farm. They were supporting a good thing for the veterans late last year if you bought a shirt. So I got that also. Uh, they're doing it in a real way. See, I got this transplanting tool. This is a legacy. My mom had this for planting bulbs and whatnot. I found if you just use it to kind of dig in, just kind of do that, and take a, take a big hunk of, of uh, soil out, it, it's useful. So I'm going to use that and see what we could pull out and then transplant. Or maybe I'll use that to even dig these up. It's all an experiment, folks. Until you've done it, you have experience with it, you're experimenting, whether you realize it or not. That's what gardening is. Gardening, even permaculture gardening. So there's one. See that itsy bitsy, those three, four itsy bitsy beets? We want something more than that. There's no calories in that. I probably burn more calories picking up the camera than I get out of those. So, all these. I'm going to pull them up the best I can by hand and hope for the best when I transplant. And next year, as I say, I'll, I'll grow plants and then I'll repot the transplants is what I will do. These are like little old carrots. Look at that. Teeny tiny carrots. Talk about a garden failure, huh? You want to laugh about somebody's garden failure? This is the one probably here. I'm just going to transplant these in here. With this other, what you call it, this kind of a, uh, kind of a tree is it? Sweet cherry? We'll see it where, what happens. It's all an experiment, folks. Okay, so we're back here where I transplanted the beets. It doesn't look like they're doing so well, but at least if they grow, they're not going to be tiny like they were. I didn't transplant everything. It's just the rest of the cluster here. But, uh, and where was the other ones? I transplanted some more here. We'll see if they spring back and grow. Uh, I'm hopeful that they will. Otherwise, it's no great loss because it only cost me some seed. And what are you going to do? It's the way, the way it goes. And next time, I think I'll put them more in a shady area. Than uh, out here in the flat in the sun where they're getting heat blasted too. 